Now, for decades, Canada has been a magnet for immigrants, but recently fewer permanent residents are applying for Canadian citizenship and some have even begun to leave the country. To help understand why the buzz has quietened a little, Nikhil Inamdar sent this report from Punjab, uh, which sends thousands of migrants to Canada every year. Punjab, India's bread basket, land of mustard fields and also immigrant dreams. Millions have left these villages over decades. In Canada, the Punjabis are amongst the largest diaspora. But some are now returning home. Bulkar's family mortgaged land to send him to university in Toronto. Citizenship was his ultimate goal. But after just one year, he's come back and started an embroidery business. Rent to gara, grocery, sabhi From rent to groceries, everything became more expensive. I had to work 40-50 hours every week to survive. The high inflation is making many students leave their studies in Canada. The lure of the Canadian dream is fading a little, and that's palpable on this street in the town of Vadinda, where every day thousands of young people come and meet immigration agents and make plans to leave the country. Last year, though, the number of Indian students applying to Canadian universities dropped sharply. Protests over a lack of affordable housing went viral last year. In response, the Trudeau government announced international students must have double the amount of money to cover living expenses when they come to Canada. A temporary two-year cap on new international student permits. In addition, the government has introduced a cap on how many student visas are issued every year to help address the housing shortage. Canada stopped building housing in large scale for about 30 years. And now the, the, that's come back to bite us as the population starts to grow. But there are deeper reasons for a waning Canadian dream. For some like Curran, who've achieved career and financial success, it was the allure of a comfortable rural life that inspired his return to India after 15 years. He's now started an online consultancy to help others come back to their roots. I started this Back to Motherland Punjab page almost uh, one and a half months ago. I get two, three calls every day and most of the calls are from Canada. Uh, people who wants to know uh, what kind of job opportunities or what is available in Punjab. India is growing and people can see that. For decades, immigrants have fueled Canada's economic growth. India is still one of its largest sources of migrants. While the numbers of those leaving Canada are still small, they do paint a more complex picture of the opportunities abroad and those at home. Nikhil Anandar, BBC News, in Punjab, India.